Hey, what's happening out there? All my fans. <laughs> um, I got all these views and nobody's subscribing, man. It's like I got 12 people. Like, come on, people. Cut me a break. Today I'm doing this review. Uh, this has nothing to do with Home Depot. This is a review on the KM Elastomeric Roof Coating. Okay? This is the first time I'm doing this. I figured I'd do a video on it and tell you how it goes down. First of all, we're doing a new roof, as you can see. A uh, new roof, you can put this on uh, existing roofs if it's leaking, and they say it'll be just like putting a new roof on. I'm not sure, this is my first time I'm telling. Look, this is it. When you're doing, when you're doing, the, you know, a new roof, you gotta get this acrylic caulk. This acrylic caulk goes down first. Okay, see there's the KM coating. It's actually called KM Elastomeric Roof Coating. That's what this roof is called. So look, we started out with putting, brushing on this acrylic caulk. Okay, that was the first coat. I uh, try to fill in all the cracks and all with this caulk. Uh, it's acrylic, as you can see. After that, uh, we've already gotten to the second step, which is this prime base. Prime base, you're supposed to put two coats on. Prime base, check it out. It's gray. That's what it looks like. Okay, so we went around, and on a prime base, you're supposed to put this mesh on. So what we did was we put a coat down while it was still wet. We took this mesh right here, and we put this mesh in the wet uh, coat, and then we went over it again with another coat. Okay, that counts as one coat to us. Okay, this is what it looks like. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is how we did it. We got this coat on. Then afterward, we're going to go over with another coat of the prime base. That's step two. Step one was the acrylic caulk. And then we put two coats of the prime base with the mesh in it. Okay? You put the mesh in the wet. And then you go back over it with more wet, with more coating. And then you let it dry. You're supposed to let it dry 24 hours okay but in this case we got rain coming so we're gonna push it a little bit we've been letting this this dried overnight so we're pretty happy with it about 20 hours so give or take all right so after that's done see how we're drawing in the cracks and all with this mesh Okay, so all the rain supposed to run off of that. All right, so then what you're supposed to do is put two coats of the final down, final coat right here. We haven't done that yet. We're gonna get to that, okay? This is a water-based product. So it's not as, you know, dirty as messing with your uh, tar oil-based features. Now, if it, does as well then we'll be happy I have done the tar and I have had leaks before but you know that's just how it goes sometimes you got to make sure you got the you know the hole filled with something and then fill it in with your top coat mesh okay so you're gonna go afterward put two coats of this final coat and that should be sufficient when I get the final coat on I can send out another video showing the final and then also I will follow up with the leakage hopefully we won't have any leakage all right everybody out there like and subscribe please and if you have any questions leave it in the comments tell me your views this is Faust have a good one. I'm out.